Hi, I'm Michael Kropp, and I'm a former National Junior Angus Association member and uh, Angus Foundation scholarship recipient. So growing up, we grew up in Maryland on the East Coast. It's a, it's a really different feel than growing up, I, uh, from what I can tell, in the Midwest. We had a small operation, primarily just Angus cattle, uh, also you know, heavily involved in 4-H and FFA growing up. Had market projects, not just with beef, but also with swine and sheep and goats. But cattle was the primary drive and the primary goal. You know, that's what we did you know, as a family, not just uh, you know, in the county or the state, but you know, traveled to regional and national Angus shows and cattle shows. And that was really kind of what brought us together as a family and what, uh, what really what meant the most. So coming up, growing up through Angus and coming to Angus Junior Nationals as an annual family tradition, you know, when I was about 14 or 15, uh, I decided to do something a little different I hadn't done before and uh, was one of the state voting delegates for the, the Junior Angus border or the Green Coats. Like, wow, this is, this is really cool. These, you know, older members, um, you know, I kind of looked up to them and uh, saw them as, you know, you know, really, really great people. And, and as that grew and adapted, you know, my, my drive to actually be a green coat, you know, grew and adapted with that. I uh, ran for the board when Junior Nationals was uh, in Indiana, Indianapolis. And, uh, you know, it was a really great opportunity, great experience. You're, you're a family of 12. And that's, uh, that's something that everybody really felt being on the junior board, is we, we were one big happy family. So kind of, you know, I wanted to study animal science and the, the Midwest is the place to do that. So I ventured my way out to Kansas uh, to do a bachelor degree in animal science at Kansas State University. Got involved in, uh, in a meat science club, which had some graduate students involved. And that's my first, you know, those two activities kind of were my first both exposure to the meat science world, but also to graduate school. I never considered graduate school before meat judging. I had an opportunity available to study under uh, my current major professor. So I ventured up to uh, Ames, Iowa in uh, spring of 2017. Uh, and then uh, opportunity came after I finished my master's degree to stay for a PhD. One of the things growing up, and coming through college, coming through my master's degree, into my PhD, and just kind of being around an academic setting is I get a lot of enjoyment out of helping students that also are passionate, interested in, in what we do. And uh, I, I enjoy teaching, and I enjoy working with those students. You know, the, the students that are really interested and really want to learn and ask a lot of questions, while they might be a minority in a given, say, undergraduate class, they're the ones that you really are doing it for. Like, they're the ones that really make you kind of feel all warm and fuzzy inside at the end of the day. I've been very blessed, both as an undergraduate and graduate student, to receive funding uh, and supplemental help from the Angus Foundation. Uh, I can't tell you, can't, can't express my gratitude probably into words very well, but uh, without, the, without the Angus Foundation's um, support, I would not be pursuing a PhD most likely to this day. Undergraduate being an out-of-state student, attending you know, a school in the Midwest, it, it was expensive. So the Angus Foundation helped supplement and offset some of that cost for me, being an undergraduate. So I'm forever blessed and thankful for the Foundation's support of me, seeing value in me, growing me as a person in terms of a leader through my uh, education. So I can see that there's a whole another generation of, of kids in the Junior Angus Association that I would like to have that same gift and opportunity that I had growing up because I have now seen the value of how great it was to have that support and have those opportunities, have um, the Angus Foundation helping, whether it's sending a student to a lead conference, whether it's helping support a new contest or activity, whether it's a scholarship, whether it's a travel stipend. Those activities and outreach programs the Angus Foundation has historically done is really influential for that student, that member, to take advantage of that opportunity and they get so much out of it. So the Angus Foundation is really influential and a monumental milestone of the Angus Association, the Junior Angus Association, for promoting the next generation of Angus leaders.